Hey everyone, I'm Marsha, and today we're gonna be making a simple and easy pasta salad. Now, this is my favorite pasta salad recipe because number one, it doesn't include any cheese. And if you've been following me on my channel, you know that I am on my own dairy-free journey. So no cheese is a plus. Number two, it doesn't include any mayonnaise. And a lot of pasta salad recipes that I see out there have some type of mayonnaise-based dressing. And I just really don't like that. So this one doesn't include mayo or mayonnaise. But number three is it's just really easy to make. It only includes eight ingredients and most of those are vegetables. So that is why I love it and I cannot wait to show it to you. So let's get started. All right, so the base ingredient for any pasta salad is, of course, pasta. I'm going to be using rotini pasta today, but you can actually use any type of pasta you like for this recipe. I typically use either rotini or spaghetti, just regular spaghetti noodles or spaghetti pasta, but you can use whatever pasta that you have on hand in your pantry. So all you have to do is cook it according to the instructions on the box and you're good to go. All right, so I've already cooked my pasta and it is cooling off. Now I'm about to prep my veggies. All right, for our veggies, I have a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. I've already chopped up the green bell pepper, so now I'm going to chop up the red bell pepper. Another thing that I really love about this pasta salad recipe is that all of the veggies are going to remain raw. So I'm not gonna be cooking these veggies at all, and that just helps maximize the health benefits that you will get from eating all of these veggies in their, for the most part, natural state. All right, moving on to my cucumber. I have one cucumber here that I am going to chop up. And how you chop up your vegetables is totally up to you, you guys. I try to keep everything fairly small, not too small, but fairly small bite-sized pieces. So I already chopped up one tomato. I think I just want a little bit more tomato, so I might not use this entire tomato but i am gonna chop up some of it kind of depends on the size of your vegetables the tomatoes i had were pretty large so i'm just gonna chop up a little bit more off of this one and then we'll be good to go all right so we have our red bell peppers our cucumbers our tomatoes and we also have some green bell peppers some red onion and some more tomatoes because i felt like i didn't have enough <laughs> All right, you guys, so I have my noodles here. They have cooled off, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my bowl. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my veggies. Going to add my cucumbers. Adding in the green bell peppers. My red onion. All right, so now it's time to add in our dressing and our salad seasoning. So for our dressing, we're gonna be using some Italian dressing. This gives it a really tangy and zesty flavor. I absolutely love it. And for our seasonings, we're gonna be using a salad seasoning blend. You can certainly make your own blend um, if you want to. This one just makes it really easy because it has a lot of different herbs and spices already mixed together. So I'm gonna shake this up really well because you know that dressings tend to separate. And then I do not need this entire bottle of Italian dressing. I only need 16 ounces, which is two cups. All right, so I'm only gonna use about a third of this salad seasoning bottle. So I'm just gonna eyeball it so I know exactly when I need to stop. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup of the dressing on top. And then I'll do it again just to make sure everything is coated with some of the salad seasoning and some of the dressing. A little bit more salad seasoning. And now I'm going to add the rest of my dressing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. 
So something to be mindful of, I do check the ingredients on a lot of my foods now. And this particular salad seasoning does have milk in it. So it does have milk and cheese in it. So it's not completely dairy free, but for me it's still better than adding additional cheese on top of that into my salad. So small step you guys, baby steps. <laughs> All right, and once you have everything mixed thoroughly together, you go ahead and add your top and you will put it in the refrigerator to marinate overnight or for at least eight hours. All right, once your pasta salad has set in the refrigerator overnight and it's marinated for at least eight hours, it allows all of those flavors, the dressing, the salad seasoning to really soak into the noodles and soak into your vegetables and just gives it a burst of flavor. You can serve this at your next gathering. It holds up really well in the refrigerator. So if you do want to meal prep it, you can certainly do that as well. I usually eat on it for like an entire week <laughs> because the longer it sits, the better it tastes. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, and if you make it, come back, leave me a comment down below. And if you really like this video, please leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button down below. I post videos every single Wednesday, so you'll never miss when I upload a video. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.